the U.S. is basically cutting off Chinese access to the high-end chips that do have military possible application. But those sanctions are pretty broad and cover a lot of categories of chips that frankly have nothing to do with military applications. It's really just the U.S. trying to hold China back with the idea that we want to buy more time and stay number one for a longer period of time. But A, it's not going to work. Uh, I would argue that when we look back at the impact of these sanctions on China, we're going to discover that we motivated China to invest more and go faster and become independent of the U.S. in areas like chips. So we, we need the U.S. to basically accept that China is a, already close to co-equal economically, and how quickly it's moved on the uh, issues related to advanced technologies. So why not, given that China is the most attractive market out there, why don't we, instead of contain, try to compete? When is that shift going to take place? Who knows? But I would hope that after this election, that cooler heads will prevail, then we ought to be able to create a, a level of trust on both sides where you can move to healthy competition and where each side gets better as a result of that competition.